So we're here today. Uh, the subject is with urban gardening. Urban gardening. You like the way this is coordinated and planned <laughs> because it's so occupied. I just love it. It's like you know, say what you want. That's what it's about. It's freedom of speech. That's how we do at the garden here, though, too. It's spontaneous. <laughs> it just right. happens. You know, a party comes, the work party comes together yeah. when you least expect it. It does. That's happened today. Mm -hmm. In the context of a general assembly of Occupy Warren, Occupy Youngstown. Um, we're at the community garden. Um, it's part of uh, an agricultural um, revolution yes. in, in Youngstown. Yes. where we have taken uh, the, uh, the inner circle of what our goal is uh, and gotten as close to growing it ourselves as can possibly be. We grow it ourselves and we share with each other. That's the perfect bullseye of how food should be done. It's as anti-corporate as can be. Mm -hmm. We work today right. um, on uh, seedlings that were um, where the seeds came from a guy who harvested last year and saved the seeds and then he planted those seeds and then he gave those seedlings to us. Now gave. How occupied fashion is that? Not sold, not traded, gave. Um, what kind of seedlings were they? We got, um, I would guess, over a thousand um, seedlings today that were mostly hot peppers but there were some oh, sweet peppers okay uh, there was some uh, some flowers there were some eggplants nice um, what we did is we took them and put them into uh, the next stage of uh, the growth process to uh, small containers with some of them being put in the final stage container so that those containers can go straight from the greenhouse to uh, a garden to, the to grow food to the completely outside of the corporate paradigm. Yes. Oh, how sweet is that? That how is sweet. sweet. Is that? And they're in a greenhouse that was built on recycle out of recycled materials. It used to be a patio enclosure, and now it's a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and the house is also off grid. Um, how's that for interlinking the different elements of the Occupy movement and the different sustainability efforts that we need to do? You know, linking them together. Fantastic. All, you know, all, all in an anti-corporate effort. Um, we've been working the garden uh, 12 months a year. There's always something to be done here. Um, this is a, a chilly spring morning where um, you can see that we've uh, got a number of plants already in the ground. The, uh, the pea plants are up about that far, Mark, would you say? Yeah, about that. About that far. And others of us are preparing our beds for planting. Some of us that have more tender uh, annuals and mm -hmm. uh, and some perennials that are coming up. We're in the process of just preparing that right now. Weeding and cleaning them up, making sure that they're ready to go. Yeah, we worked on um, berry bushes and uh, Chris and, and I guess Sean worked on the berry bushes over here. Mm -hmm. uh, chopping them down into the right and size and the domestic raspberries, red raspberries. Mm -hmm. And we have a grapevine coming up this year. Um, I don't, none of us have really done anything with these fruit trees yet, although I think we're going to be pruning those mm -hmm. maybe today or next weekend. But mm -hmm. we've got uh, some interesting uh, fruit trees here. That is that one behind you. I don't know if you want a shot of that or not, Joe. That's, uh, is that the persimmon? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. And we've got a couple of peach trees here. Um, I just, uh, you know, a nice variety of so many different things here in this garden. Wonderful. And, Wonderful. Um, yeah, as far as I know, we've sold almost nothing from this stuff. We've given most of it away. We did sell some of the kale. Uh, okay, fantastic. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. Now, where do you give it away from? Uh, it depends on who needs it at the time that it, it's ready to be harvested. Uh, we share it amongst ourselves and other people who are doing the um, Occupy style life uh, lifestyle that um, is part of our movement here in Youngstown. Uh, people went to sustainability. Um, and when it's all said and done, whatever's left goes to um, mental health center and distributed to uh, clients or mm -hmm. goes to the downtown um, food not bombs program mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it goes there um, quite a bit of it just goes to us to get us off grid mm -hmm. off the corporate uh, um, food chain okay we're eliminating corporate swill as much as is possible 
But you uh, are food. instrumental in getting some of that produce to the people who are most unlikely or more most unable to buy good produce for themselves. Right. Why? Because mm -hmm. there's no grocery stores around here anywhere to even exactly. buy fresh produce. And secondly, if you can take the bus and go to a suburban grocery store, there's little opportunity to get really good organic produce. You know, it's all heavily uh, seeped in pesticide and insecticide, and this is totally 100% organic, this garden that we work. Another thing I noticed from riding the bus myself is there's no um, ability to, for anybody to carry any sizable amount of stuff home from the store. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, you can boy, take a, truth, one you know. or two bags, and as long as, you know, somebody doesn't want to sit down, next to you, you know, if there's an empty seat, you can put stuff there, but if there is, you have to find a place to either hold it yourself, and there's just, you know, yeah, yeah. people are just not able, if they're not able to drive, they, for whatever reason, you it's know, their resources are limited, even going to a suburban store, they're limited on what they're allowed to bring onto the bus, mm -hmm. you know, so that's a big problem. Another thing where these two live, or where they work, you know, there's a lot of people there that are handicapped for whatever reason, are unable to, uh, to garden themselves. Garden themselves. Uh, they've never been trained on any kind of a nutritional value and food and stuff like that, and what is good for them and what have you. And, uh, you know, they, they help them do that, uh, find out how to eat. Uh, I know Randy, I've heard Randy cooking up there and, at his place for the for the clients and, yep, yep. and being shut down for it because the guy that's running the place didn't like it or for whatever reason you know yeah it didn't fit into the corporate paradigm the way they right. wanted it to one <coughs> of the things my, i love it when they say you're making the lobby of the mental health center too unkempt it doesn't look the way it's supposed to and there's free stuff spread around for people who are um uh you know in the indigent, really indigent. Yeah. they are down indigent and out folks, right. uh, uh, you can't do that it doesn't fit with our decor you know? yeah. uh, free food or free merchandise doesn't fit with the decor so they put me in the cubby holes in the to do it and that's okay you know it's just they're they're gay well free that's is so anti-corporate you know free is anti-corporate that's right it's yeah. off the financial paradigm you know, they don't like that. Um, and I don't but mean... back to the garden. Here. Back to that garden. But I digress. <laughs> I digress. Because <laughs> I want to talk about, you know, the corporations we don't use in the garden. Like, you know, none of this is Moron Santo. Or none of this is Sure Kill. Or any of those corporate no, giants. No, Miracle that... Grow. We don't want that crap around here. You know, if, if somebody comes in here that thinks that they've got this wonderful idea where they're bringing fertilizer from Lowe's or somewhere else get it out of here we we just don't want it mm -hmm. okay we try to do some composting um uh, we fertilize things naturally the way that they should be sustainable fertilized. sustainable thank you that's right sean you were telling me earlier too that um many of the plants here have medicinal benefits oh yes well anywhere you go as long as somebody like uh Kemlon or somebody like that hasn't been through your yard or your neighbor's yard, the chances are you've got all kinds of sustainable plants in there for health, for treatment of disease. You know, they've been proven for millions of years, people have been doing this, you know. Um, getting away from the corporate medical um, paradigm that where everybody, you know, thinks it's, it's so great and everything. You know, you can go out in your yard and pick up something that's good for you, you know, it, which most people think are weeds. Tell us a little bit about dandelion. You were talking about that earlier, too. Right, the dandelion. I just yeah. harvested some of the roots from dandelion today. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than going to a corporation to buy it or a store to buy it, I'm going to make my own uh, dandelion root tea for medicinal purposes. Sean's better at knowing what these things are good for. Um, I'm, I'm basically washing them off in water that came off of the roof of the building and they're going to go back <laughs> back to the house and be dehydrated so we can turn them into uh, tea. Uh, you know, and, and some there. people, <laughs> I love it, uh, there's dandelion. Dandelion, yeah. good for your liver. Yeah. The milk here, put it, stick it on a wort or whatever, it's gone in a couple days. And 
and delicious and nutritious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can put dandelion in salads, I know. Is oh, there anything yeah. else you can do with it? If you get yard, the greens young enough, they're yard, really good in the greens. salad. <laughs> yeah, the greens, if they're young enough, are really good in a salad. They're yeah, sort the of like... Are good. Yeah, I, I haven't had as much experience with uh, doing things with flowers as Sean has. I've done basically the greens and the roots. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be doing more of the, of the flowers because well, uh, what I understand is that once they start, the plant starts to flower, it becomes, uh, the rest of it becomes more bitter. And so you switch to eating the part that's not and using the other part as, uh, for medicine. Because we've, we've used, like Sean was talking about, us in this, uh, uh, to, to help clean your system, help you detox by drinking the tea. And what I do, the way I use it, some people just boil it uh, after they've dehydrated the roots, chop them up and dehydrate them, they just boil them and use it as a tea. Mm -hmm. I also use them as a supplement to my morning coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, I that's an excellent coffee. coffee. I try yeah. to get off of coffee because it's it's uh, way too corporate for my liking. But uh, and I will eventually once my addiction is you know, taken care of, I'll be off coffee and I'll be drinking dandelion tea in the morning instead. It tastes like coffee. It does. It does taste like coffee. And many people do. Yeah, and that's just like chicory root, you know. Mm -hmm. it tastes like coffee too. This is uh, Japanese knotweed. I just, just found a recipe this yesterday from behind the shed. It. And it's so invasive. It. Yeah, it Tastes a little invasive. bit like rhubarb. It's uh, sour. This one must have been cut down because it's a little tough. What? It's edible, but you don't want it growing anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the garden, that's right. And this is very therapeutic. It's, uh, they found out that it may help people with Alzheimer's. Um, somebody today has told me that she's been taking it for, for Lyme disease. How do you use knotweed for um, Alzheimer's? What what part do you use? The juice. Okay, the juice of it. Okay. Just eat it raw. Eat it, eat or boil it? No, just, just eat, eat it, it raw. Okay, gotcha. Or put it in a fruit salad or whatever you want, you know? Okay. Okay, final thoughts, guys. Um, what What is the message that you would give our viewers about being involved in an urban awesome. gardening project awesome. like this one? Grow awesome. it. Yeah. Yourself, here. eat it okay. yourself, and what is left over, give to those who need it the most. Okay. Yeah, and it's such a meaningful way of spending your time. You know, come out here, get some exercise, get your hands dirty, reconnect with the earth. A wonderful, meaningful activity, gardening. Okay. And I'll quote Hippocrates. Let food be your medicine, and medicine thy food. Okay. Randy, Chris, Sean, thank you very much. Thank you.